I'm Elisa. And I'm Izzy. And currently in Durham, it's the house signing season. Today we're at the Billy B Library asking students what is the weirdest thing you've seen in a student house? Rex, what's the weirdest thing you've seen in a student house? Um, a cardboard cut out of a Danny DeVito. Lovely. So it would probably be a chart which had the amount of times that each housemate had left food out for so long that it had grown like mould and its own little like fuzzy ecosystem. And considering we've been here for four weeks, the numbers were around in the 30s. So that's probably the weirdest thing. <laughs> so Karis, what's the weirdest thing you found? Um, so firstly, I have a drawer full of condoms in my student house. I have some really weird tapestries of people kissing. Well, I've heard of stories about rats in houses. Um, we had a wasp nest in my house last year, which my house made me to keep. That's cool. We have a sex game called Dirty Deeds, which is like actual sex acts on your partner. I don't know who's playing that, but best to them. I hope they're enjoying it. <laughs> so, Ronnie, what's the weirdest thing you've seen in this house? Well, I'm pretty sure our house is haunted. Um, there was one night, it was just two of us. You'd gone out, and a bunch of us had all gone out, but me and two other people stayed in the house, and then we could hear knocking on all of the, um, on the walls. We thought there was a burglar but there was nobody outside and it sounded like someone was like scraping their fingernails along all the walls. Finn, what's the weirdest thing you found in the student house? Uh, a bath full of fake time. Was that from your house mate or? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. lovely. Because I mean like our house is an old railway house isn't it? It's pretty old so like I would assume some kind of spirit might stay and then after that my door just like refused to stay open for about two weeks. You couldn't close it and then like you'd come back to five seconds later and it'd be open. Uh, well, basically, uh, we've been missing all of our glasses for several weeks. Uh, Dylan lost his uh, glass from Babylon, Freya's lost their Carling's glass, and then we just opened this one cupboard, and they're all there, and they're all like just covered in mud, like filled with their dirty drink everywhere. And unbeknownst to us, one of our flatmates just thought it'd be a good idea to store all of our dirty glasses in the cupboard without telling anyone. So last year, one of my flatmates managed to rip the fire door off its hinges but without trying. Now the window still is actually just an empty uh, like water bottle with yeah. lemons in there. And I've been sitting there for like two weeks. Okay. Um, just empty with some lemons. It's a beautiful decoration. Did it ever get fixed? Um, mm, by the rest of the flat. Dylan, Sophie, what's the weirdest thing you've seen in the house? Weirdest thing I've seen in the student house. I have a housemate who, uh, when you open up one of the doors, Desk, it's just full of pistachio shells. So one student house has a bathroom and they have mirrors on like both sides of the walls and so it does that weird reflection thing where you can just see like endless versions of yourself on either side. So being in there drunk is not particularly fun. It makes you really dizzy. Mine is probably in my house the basement room didn't show up. So it became known Save as the boy Save, Save boy. <laughs> Save boy. <laughs> Save boy. <laughs> So it became named as the piss room because every time there was like rugby socials at my house, everyone just pissed out the window and into their house because nobody used it and it was the most disgusting place ever. We had um, this bowl of like mouldy rice and it was like blue because our housemates like refused to clean up like ever and so it was like growing for like two weeks. Yeah, two and a half weeks. It was disgusting. Yeah, inedible. So what have we learned? Uh, students are gross, we hate washing up, and we really like to make charts to record how gross we are. <laughs> Thank you for watching Pal TV and stay tuned for more content.